there we go. All right. So let's start just seated, Sukhasana, or if you want child's pose, that's, that's fine too. I'm gonna close your eyes. And just notice your breath here, any areas of your body that might feel like you're guarding or just holding any tension. Try to soften those areas. I just want you to take a full breath in through the nose. And then out your mouth. Twice more. Inhale. Exhale out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. And then seal your lips, just draw the breath now in and out through your nose. And then take your time, you can linger right here. And keep the breath, link your eyes open when you're ready. And come into tabletop. And I'd just like for you to start as usual through cow and cat. Moving however you want to move. And we're going to just start by opening the shoulders a little bit through thread the needle or side puppy. We'll start on the right, stretch your right arm up, thread the right arm underneath or place the elbow to the left side of the mat and lay your ear on your bicep. One more full breath in. And you support with your left hand. Stretch your right arm up and just set it down. We'll do the second side. Inhale, left arm up. Either thread it underneath or side puppy. And keep the breath moving. Consciously, deeply. Take one more. And then re support with your right hand. Inhale, stretch your left arm up. And then set it down. Downward facing dog, lift the knees. And come back to your breath, just drop your head, relax your neck. And a little steadiness.
And you might shorten your dog a little bit, separate the feet a little wider so the heels can come pretty close, if not all the way down. You'll take your left hand somewhere above your right ankle or to the ankle and then firm down to the right inner palm and twist to your right. And really work that right shoulder blade to the spine. And then hug your right hip back and thread your chest through the right arm. Just let your head dangle. And then inhale into that whole right side. On your exhale, just look down, spin your heels to the right, shift your shoulder over your wrist, stretch your left arm up, and you can keep your feet staggered. And then cactus your left arm, maybe stack your heels for a side plank. Hug your right shoulder in the socket. You might stretch your arm overhead and do that again. Cactus your left arm. Stretch your arm overhead, inhale. Down dog, exhale. And then shorten your dog as needed there. Step your feet a little wider. Right hand above left ankle. And then weave your gaze under that left arm. Hug your left uh, upper arm in. And then hug your left hip back. And you just feel that connection into that whole left side body. All the way through the inner left palm. Take a full breath in. And then slowly look down. You'll work your shoulder over your wrist as you pivot your heels to the left. And then hug your bottom in. Stretch your right arm up. Lift your left hip high. Stretch your right arm overhead. Take a breath in. Exhale, cactus the arm. Lie the right shoulder leg back. You might stack your heels here. Inhale, stretch your arm overhead. Exhale, bend the elbow, roll your chest open. And then look to the left thumb, downward facing dog, go back. And then look forward and just step your feet to the top of the mat. Come into Uttanasana. However you want to move here, go ahead. And let your brain drop into the skull. And then soften the knees and roll up to stand. Stretch your arms up. Take an inhale, look up. Samsahar, samasutihi. And with your hands together, you can set any mantra, any intention, just whatever you are experiencing or feeling this morning, just, just let it be here now. Whether that's uncertainty or doubt or fear or happiness, just be open, open to those imperfections or those feelings or emotions. And then blink your eyes open, take an inhale, stretch your arms up, and come right to chair pose. So I like to have my feet hip width apart, draw your upper body back, sit down to your hips. And we're gonna do some rocks here. So bring your fingertips down, but ultimately bring your bottom down and rock back, All right? And then push back through your feet, bring your right knee to your chest and stand. We're gonna do five on each side, so four more. Right knee to chest, stand. Rock back. Right knee to chest, the so same leg every time. And then we'll switch. So this next one, left knee to chest. You might just do one, you might just do three. One more on that last side. 
And then come right to chair pose. Sit back and down. Soften the neck, inhale. And then fold forward, exhale. And then get your hands down. Step your feet together. And then bend the knees. I want you to lean your weight over your shoulders. And we're gonna hop and kick the butt, so chair or tuck house. And do three to five. You might just do one. You might just step back to dog. So here we go. Hop up. Kick your butt. Land light. And if you can hold, hold. Or try to land soft. Hug your upper arms in. And then step or hop back to a soft knee down dog. And then inhale, ripple forward a high plank. And just hold your plank, find the front ribs lifting, hug your shoulder heads back, lift your inner thighs up, and then hinge forward from your toes, bring your knees down, lift your sitting bones up, and then mount your heart. So knees, chest, chin. And then walk your hands back, maybe scoot your knees in slightly, take a full breath in. And then so they're all the way down to your belly. Bring your forehead down, extend through the arms, palms up. Press your pubic bone down, lift your shoulder heads up, lift your head, and then lift your feet. Now lift your arms for Shalabhasana. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Take another inhale. Now exhale, lower down. And then hands, go ahead and walk them back. Lift your shoulder heads. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Lift the heart. Try not to squeeze the butt too much. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch your right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Straighten the leg, square it off. Exhale, right knee, right upper arm. Slide it to the wrist. Lift it up. Keep your shoulders over the wrist, single-legged plank. Inhale, right knee, left upper arm. Slide it down to the wrist. Lift it up, single-legged plank. Inhale, right through center. So knee to chest. Tap the shin down. Lift it up and then really push the mat away. Work your heel inside your hands. Try to hover the foot. Then bring it down. Bring your left knee down, stretch your arms up. Hug the feet together, thighs together. If you want, cactus your arms. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Now exhale, downward, facing down. Second side, stretch your left leg up, same thing. Down the knee, open your hip. Straighten the leg, square it off there, inhale. Left knee, left upper arm. Slide it to the wrist, lift it up. Now single-legged plank, keep shoulders over wrist. Left, under and over, bring it down, lift it up, take it back, and then thigh to chest, tap the shin down, lift the thigh to chest, and then flex your left foot, work the heel between your hands, try to hover it, and then set the foot down. Bring your right knee down, hug in, through the legs. <clears throat> Maybe cactus the arms, lift through the heart. Inhale, arms stretch high. Exhale, hands down, and just step back to dog. So the way we went back, we're gonna go forward. Spread your fingers wide. You might shorten your dog a little. And again, you can just step forward. You can just hop once. But see if you can bend your knees, look forward, and then kick your heel to your butt and land light. So those soft knees to absorb the shock. Do three to five. If you can hold your upside down chair, go ahead. <laughs> you might fall out. Make sure you're not gonna fall on anything or anyone. And then your feet meet at the top of the mat, fold forward. Again, there's that really ability to be okay with falling out or 
it not being perfect. All right, bend your knees. Inhale, chair pose. And then exhale, palms to heart. So we're gonna do that twice more and we're gonna move one breath to one moment. It's gonna be a little faster. Here we go, feet hip width apart. Inhale, the chair. And then bottom down, I'm gonna do five. Right knee to chest every time, rock back. That's four. Three, two, last one on the right, one more, left knee to chest. Again, you can just hold chair or be in a, on a forward fold if you don't want to do this. Last one, hold your chair pose, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. And then step your feet back a little, shoulders over wrists. Lean your shoulders over your wrists, split them out apart, hop up, kick your butt, land light. Hop up, kick your butt, land light. Hop up, kick your butt, land light. Hop up, kick your butt. And then step or hop back, soft knee, downward, facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward to plank. And exhale, knees, chest, chin. Walk your hands back a little, maybe scoot your knees in, melt your heart, lift your shoulder heads. Take a full breath in, slither all the way down. Bring your forehead down, palms up with the arms extended. Lift the chest, the head, the legs, the arms. Take an inhale. And exhale, lower down. Upward facing breath, dog inhale. And then down dog, exhale. Right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Straighten the leg, square it off, right knee, right upper arm. Slide it down, lift it up, extend it back. Inhale, we're gonna add on chaturanga. Inhale, single legged plank, right knee, left upper arm. Slide it down, lift it up. Single legged chaturanga. Right through center, tap the knee down, lift it up, and then step it between. Anjana Asana, inhale. Lift through the sides of the waist. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Straighten the leg, square it off, inhale. Left knee, left upper arm. Slide it down to the wrist. Lift it up to the arm, armpit, and then single-legged chaturanga. Left knee, right upper arm, slide it down. Lift it up, single-legged chaturanga. Right through center. Push the mat away. Draw the heel between the hands. Try to hover it before it steps down. Stretch your arms out, take a breath in. And then downward facing dog. Here we go, top of the mat. So look forward, hop up, land light. Three to five. You can hold your chair tuck, go ahead. And then fold forward at the top of the mat. Let's take a full breath there. And then back to chair. Take an inhale. Thumbs the heart, Sama Suti. One more set. Inhale, chair. And then bottom down, rock back. Exhale, inhale, five of these. Right knee to chest. Switch sides, left knee to chest. Chair pose, inhale, 
pull forward, exhale. And then set up, hands down, feet back, bend the knees, hop up, kick your butt, three to five, maybe just set back to dog. You can hold it upside down, go ahead. Keep squeezing the knees together, thighs together. Downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward plank. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. So they're all the way down, Shalavasana. Inhale, lower down, exhale. Up dog, inhale, down dog, exhale. Right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip. Right knee, right upper arm, slide it to the wrist. Lift it up, single legged chaturanga. Under, over, slide it down, lift it up, chaturanga. Thigh to chest, step it between. Anjaneyasana, breath in. Down dog, breath out. Left leg up, inhale, bend the knee, open the hip. And then exhale, left knee, left upper arm, slide it down, lift it up, chaturanga. Under, over, slide it down, lift it up, single-legged, chaturanga. Thigh to chest, tap the knee down, lift it up, step it between. Inhale, lift the arms. And exhale, downward facing. All right, so look forward, bend the knees. Hug your upper arms in, let us soften the neck, and then do your best. Three to five hops. And this end up to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Rise to stand. Breath in. I'm sorry. Step your feet together. Chair pose. Bring your right knee to your chest. Externally rotate the thigh. Figure four. I'm so heart. Any variation of the arms. Just lending your right hip a little stretch. Enjoy being off your, your arms. <laughs> Single-legged chair or crane, take a breath in. Second side, step the foot down. Then lift your left foot up. Externally, externally rotate. Figure four, left ankle above knee. Take one more full breath in. And exhale, chair pulse. Sit even lower, front ribs back. Breath in, fold forward. Breath out. All right, so step your feet together. We're gonna hop out, straddle hops. Hop out wide. So shoulders over the wrist, high in the toes. Three to five of these. Hop out wide, land light. Hop out wide, land light. If you're gonna hold, hold that straddle. Spread the toes, hug your upper arms in. And then take it back. Soft knee, downward dog. Stretch your right leg up. And then hover your right foot in line with your left. Come high in the ball, your left foot. Keep your right leg straight. Try to top your right toes to your right forearm. And then back to that hover. High in the ball, the foot, right toes to left forearm. Back to that hover. And then right through center, keep plugging your right thigh bone up, and then step it down. 
Spin your left foot out, high pyramid, inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, fold. So this first set, we hold a little longer. And then inhale, lengthen, soften the right knee, exhale, standing splits on the right leg. And then step back to runner's lunge, stretch your, stretch your right leg up and back, down dog splits. And then from here, we're going to lean the weight forward towards your hands, look between your thumbs, take little hops off your left foot and land light, keep traveling forward. So we're actually gonna come into left side, standing splits. Hold that L shape or take it straight up and down. But then left foot between your hands. Go ahead and fold in your splits. And then bend your left knee, shoulders back, thumbs to heart, warrior three from the ground up. So transition more and more weight in the left heel. Roll your right hip down. Maybe fly the arms back. Keep lifting your front ribs up. And then step back for warrior one, left leg forward. Stretch your arms up there, inhale. Now we'll go for humble warrior. Open the chest. Take an inhale. Humble, fold forward and down. Exhale. Three full breaths. That's one. That's two. That's three. Inhale to rise. And exhale, standing splits on the left leg. And then get your hands down. And bend your left knee, high in the ball of the foot. We're gonna do hop switches. So hop and switch your legs, land light. Hop and switch your legs, land light. And if that's too easy, run the legs in air. Maybe a couple more there. And just take it back through your flow. Downward facing dog. Take a clearing breath. <clears throat> Second side, stretch your left leg up. Now hover, so hover your left foot in line with your right, but plugging the thigh bone in the socket. Try to keep your neck long from your upper arms in. Behind the ball, the right foot. Try to keep that leg straight and just work the toes to the forearm. Back to hover, inhale. Behind the ball, the right foot. Shift the shoulders forward, try to tap your right forearm with left toes. Back to hover, inhale. Right through center. And then step the foot down. Send the right foot out, inhale, lengthen, plug your shoulders back. Little softening of the left knee, and then exhale, fold. Take two more full breaths. Standing splits, just breathe into the back of the leg and then a down dog split. So step back to runner's lunge and stretch your left leg up. And then lean your shoulders towards your wrist there. We're gonna land at the top of the mat on the right foot. Here we go, take an inhale, hop off your right foot, land light. Stamp your left heel up, try to find that L shape, straight up and down, maybe if you're finding that, and if the front ribs. And then right leg lands. Bend the right knee, inhale, thumbs to heart, lift the chest, warrior three from the ground up. Try not to put tension in the low back by lifting your belly. From your right hip back, roll your left inner thigh up and then bend your right knee more, more weight in the heel, maybe fly the arms. 
deep breath in. Land on the left heel, warrior one, breath out. Take an inhale, look up. Humble warrior, so cactus to clasp your hands. Inhale, lift the chest, exhale, fold. The bottom of your exhale, inhale, arise. Standing slits. Fold over your right leg. Just temporary, high in the ball, the right foot. Shift the shoulders of our wrist, and then we're gonna hop and switch the legs. Hop and switch. Hop and switch. Hop and switch, or just run it upside down. And then through your vinyasa. Downward facing. So just like before, we're gonna go to the top of the mat the same way we came back. So hopping out wide, which I happen to love these. <laughs> I think they're really fun. All right, so look forward. You're gonna hop out wide and then like hop out wide and then like get your hips over your shoulders there you can take it straight up and down if you're if you're able <sighs> if you're feeling sloppy and heavy join the club hold <laughs> forward let it be swing the heart right up there Enjoy the process. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Rise to stand, bumps the heart, exhale. So, last set, same thing, a little faster. Here we go, chair pose, and then right knee to chest, figure four. Hold it, inhale, chair pose, exhale. Left knee to chest, actually rotate, figure four, drop the seat, inhale. And exhale, chair. Inhale, upper body lifts, fold forward, exhale. And then set up for those straddle hop, shoulders over wrist. Just do your best, hop out, land light. Hop out wide, land light. Engaging the feet, spread the toes. Soft knee, downward dog. Come to hover, or let's find a vinyasa here. Ripple for the plank, and then knees, chest, chin. All the way down, locust pose. Glide the arms back, lift the legs up. Exhale, lower down. Cobra or upward facing dog, take an inhale. Down dog, exhale. Hover the right foot, high in the ball of the left. Straight legged, draw the foot towards the floor. Take it back to hover, heel down. High in the ball of the foot, take it towards that left arm. Keep plugging the thigh bone up. Back to hover, and then right through center. Get it as far forward as you can, and then step it down. Inhale, high pyramid. Exhale, melt the heart. Take one more full breath. And then stretch the right leg up, look forward, bend the left knee, and then land in left side standing splits. So hop up, try not to roll your hip open. Keep hugging the upper arms in, firming the thighs. Standing splits on the left leg to warrior three, lift the chest, heavier in the left heel, knit the front ribs, step back to the right leg, cross the hands right away, inhale, humble warrior, exhale. 
And then inhale up, stretch your arms up. Standing splits, exhale over that left leg. And then hop the left foot back. Hop and switch the legs, land light. You can keep running with that. Vinyasa when you're ready. You might take it to L, tuck, L. Flow it through. Downward dog. Cover the left foot. High in the wall to the right. Left toes to left forearm. Back to hover. Inhale, left toes, right forearm. Back to dog. Right through center. Hover, hover, hover. Step in between. And then inhale, lengthen. Turn the right foot out. High pyramid fold. Just one more full breath. Two down dog splits, try to hover the foot, so pick it up, stretch it up. Look forward, bend the right knee, and then we're landing right side, standing splits, hop off your right foot, land light. Hop off your right foot, land light. Hop off your right foot, land light. Right foot down between the hands, hold over the thigh. Bend the right knee, warrior three, from the ground up. Hug the thighs in, lift the belly. And then bend the right knee more. Keep stretching the sides of the heart towards the front of the mat. To warrior one. Arms up right away. Cobble down. <laughs> Release your hands. And then Leopold, take a breath in. <laughs> Humble warrior. <laughs> All right, my dog is licking my head. Push through your feet. Stretch your arms up. Take an inhale. Two standing splits. Exhale. And then hop the right foot back there. Lean the weight in the hands. We're gonna hop and switch five to six times. Maybe run the legs in air. Here we go. Take it through your flow. Downward facing dog. Try not to drop to the knees. I know you're sweating. Make it back to the top of the mat the same way we came back. Those straddle hops. Feet together. Hug the upper arms in. Bend the knees. Hop out wide. Land light. Hop out wide. Land light. Hop out wide. Strong legs. Soft neck. Maybe one more. Top of the mat. Forward fold. Sit. Chair to your bottom, Navasana. Go ahead and grab around your shins. Just sit up tall. And then Navasana, grab behind your thighs. Lift your low back. Take your thumbs to your heart there. Take an inhale. Extend your right leg. Right knee to chest. Inhale. Extend your left. Maybe arms forward. Keep lifting low back. Extend your right. Thighs to chest. Inhale. Tap left heel. Exhale. Inhale boat. Extend right. Inhale both thighs in. Exhale. Stand left. Inhale one more each side. And then thumbs to heart here. Take an inhale. And then low boat, tap your right elbow, exhale. Inhale up, exhale, tap your left elbow. Inhale, exhale, tap your right. Inhale up, exhale, tap your left. Inhale up, tap your right. Up, tap your left. Three more each side. Two more, each side. Last one, each side. Inhale, Navasana. 
Grab your shins, lift your low back. And then exhale, just roll down. Cross your right leg over your left. Interlace your hands behind your head. Reach your heels to the ceiling, lift your chest, take an inhale. Hold the breath out, exhale, and just lift your hips. Soften the neck. Hips down, inhale. Exhale, navel the spine, lift your hips. Hips down, inhale, lift your chest, hold the breath out, lift your hips. One more this side, inhale. Hips down, exhale, lift the heart, hold the breath out, lift your hips. Bring it all down, just switch legs, left leg over right. Reach your heels towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, navel the spine. Hold the breath out, lift your hips up. Three more, hips down, inhale. Exhale, lift your heart, your head, lift your hips. Soften your neck. Place more hips down, inhale. Sides of the heart up, belly back, hold the breath out, lift the hips up. Last one, hips down, inhale. Squeeze the legs, belly back, hold the breath out, lift the hips up. And then bring it all down. Hug your knees to your chest there, and then stretch your legs apart. Spread your toes. Reach your hands between your legs there. Shoulder heads towards the floor as you lift your heart. Go ahead and look more upward. Soften the sides of the neck, and then just lift your hips here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Feet together, fingertips to toes, lift your chest, soften the neck, lift your hips for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, oh, knees in. Might be nice to find happy baby here. And then towel off, get some water if you need it. Just have one more flow. Downward facing dog. Come back to your breath. Spread the fingers, soften the neck. And for this one, we're going to start with split hops. So step your feet together. You might shorten your dog there a little. Look between your hands and visualize your right foot landing, left leg parallel every time. So bend the knees, ride the breath, split the legs apart in air, and then step back to dog. You can hop back. Four more. Inhale, hug your upper arms in, split the legs apart. Hop your step back. Three more. Inhale. Ride the breath. Kind of get that little hover before the foot lands. Twice more. And then last one. Reverse warrior. And just feel the, the right knee hugging out, tip to your left. And then take a half bind with your left hand to your right hip. And you might gaze up to the side or just down your left leg. And then come halfway forward. Step your left foot in, hovering half moon. So a little bend in that right knee and float your left leg up a little or a lot. 
keep rolling your left ribcage back from your right hip in. Slide your left shoulder head back. Take an inhale. Reverse warrior, exhale, release that half line. Breathe in. Back to standing splits. So cart all your hands down. And then find a Kundalini squat. Tap the knee to the calf, look up. Inhale, split the legs. Exhale. Tap the calf, inhale. Fold, exhale. Last one, tap the calf. Look forward, comes the heart. Push down to the right heel. And come right to eagle, left leg over. Left arm under. Lean the upper body up. Center the waist. Draw the elbows forward. Just a little there. So you draw the upper palate of the mouth back. And that should help you get your spine and shoulders more straight up and down. Inhale the crane. We're gonna take it right to dancing Shiva. Right hand to shin, left arm up, and then circle the arm back. You can keep the knee bent or straighten the leg. But work your left hip away from your left armpit. Take another inhale. On your exhale, square your chest, keep the legs straight or bent. Through Dizasana, warrior three. Soften the right knee. Now keep this angle of the torso. We're just gonna step back and turn the left foot out, setting up for a ball trikonasana. Do a little bend in your right knee, hug your right hip back, and then circle your right arm down and back. Bring your left hand to your shin, inside your foot or block. And then hug your right hip back. You might need to bend the knee a little more. Then open your chest to the right. Just feel that ability to lengthen your chest, your spine out, your pelvis. Twist to your right as you spin your navel to the left. Take another full breath in. And then soften the right knee, get your left hand down. Take it to side plank and stretch from right heel to pinky. We dig into the left side body. And take it there, take it in a wild thing, or stay there. Turn the left foot out, get that nice opening. Let your head go. Make another full breath in. Look to your left thumb, come back to side plank. Draw your right knee to your chest, and then step your foot top of the mat. And then come right to prasarita. Take an inhale there and lengthen. Exhale and fold. You can walk your hands underneath your legs, turn the thumbs out, fingers back. Rock the weight forward towards your toes. And then spread and lift the sitting bones. If you lift from the end, seams of the legs. And then inhale, walk your hands back forward. And then exhale, spin your heels in, toes out. And then walk your hands inside your left foot, hug the upper arm inside the thigh, stretch your right arm up. And then push the mat away with your right heel, work more space or distance between right thigh and side body. And then lounge your chest back, look to your right hand as you stretch it up. And then stretch it overhead. And then the gaze can go wherever. But keep lifting through the left side body, Feel that nice stretch to the right. Power of the legs here. And then soften the shoulders away from the jaw. Stretch to the right ribs, breathe in. 
Right hand down, fold forward, turn the feet parallel. Now left hand above right ankle, right arm over head, we're gonna find that same twist. So work your chest and gaze under your right arm. Maybe walk your hand like a clock, clockwise or counterclockwise towards your left foot. And if you want, you can look to the left foot and actually grab it, your left calf, but get your right upper arm behind your head if you're finding that. You can really work the manipulation of the shoulder blade gliding, heart revolving, right hip hugging back. As you just let your head drop and dangle. And get more of that stretch to the outer right armpit, lats. All that fascia, connective tissue, and musculature to the right side. Another full breath there. And then exhale to release. All right, pivot to your left foot and drop your right knee down. He'll toe your left foot out, and we're just gonna find Dancing Monkey to stretch the quad. You might bring your elbow down. This should be a nice. Nice posture at this moment in our practice. I think it's always a good one. And then just a back. Step it back to plank and then take a flow or skip it. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Step your feet together. We're gonna split hop now the left foot between our hands. So ride the breath. Imagine you have an ice skate on your left foot and the knees. Split the legs apart. Try to hover before that left foot lands. One more time. From the sacrum, lifting. And then finish up, left foot between your hands. Just take it right to reverse warrior. And then take a half bind with your right hand. Working your left inner bicep behind your ear. And feel the connection to the left scapula. And then draw your left inner knee away from you. As you tip off to the right, lift up to the ribcage. Take another inhale. And then keep your half line. Just step your right foot in. From your left hip in, stretch your left arm out. Rotate your chest open and then tip in. Keep this orientation. One more full breath in. And then reverse warrior. Release your half line, breath out. Take an inhale. Standing slits. Think warrior three, but supported, and then bend your knees, look forward, drop the hips, tap the calf, inhale. Split the legs, pull, exhale. Twice more, heavy in the left heel, inhale, sit low. Split the legs, hold. 
Kapakafakane, sit low. And then stay that low, thumbs to heart. Push through the left heel, right to eagle, right leg over. Right arm under. One more full breath. Exhale, dancing Shiva. So right arm up, left hand to shin. Twist to the right, you might keep your hand to the shin, circle the arm back, stay, or maybe strain the leg, grab blade edge of foot. Keep working your right hip down. Lift the side ribs up. And then exhale, release, stretch your arms up there. Warrior three. And then see if you can keep the angle of the torso or thumbs to heart, but turn your right foot out, land in pyramid, bend the left knee, lift the belly, stretch the heart forward, and then circle your left arm down and back, reach your right pinky, inhale, Revolve Trikonasana, right hand inside the foot, shin or block, and then stretch your left arm up. And now, as you bend the left knee, you can really work your left outer hip back. Notice any resistance. And use your breath. Smooth out those edges. One more full breath. Soften the left knee, right hand down. Transition the side plank. And just stack the heels here. You can lift the left leg a little. I want you to reach your left arm overhead as you lift your right hip up. And then really work your left bicep behind your ear even more. You cinch all around the waist. Then maybe step behind. Lift through the heart. Drop your head. Anything with that left arm. Wild thing. Side plank. Look down. And then left knee to chest. See how slowly you can transition left foot to right thumb. And then press your feet down. We're gonna move right into low horse. Heels in, toes out. And then walk your right hand inside your right foot. You can lean the chest back. You can maybe left hand the thigh there. Push the thigh away. Push through your left heel. And that'll help you to tip off to the right as you look up your left thumb. And then right upper arm to knee. Drop your hips, belly back, and then stretch arm overhead. So for me, I prefer to look more down or to, to the side. You might even lift up higher and bring your hand to your heart so it's truly unsupported. Take one more full breath in. And then get the left hand down, come to center. Strain the legs, turn the feet parallel, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. And then take your right hand just above your left ankle and stretch your left arm overhead. And then guide your, or weave your chest under your left arm, and you might start to walk your left hand like a clock towards your right ankle. If you want to get in deeper, go ahead and maybe shorten your stance a little. Grab above the ankle and rotate your shoulder blade towards the spine. Bend both elbows out and feel that connection to only the thoracic spine. Rotating only. Connection to the core. 
intercostals, lats, connection to tension, sensation. Connection to your body. Take one more full breath. And exhale, release. Get your hands down, inhale, and lengthen. And then pivot around to the top of the mat. We'll find that lizard to knee down to quad stretch. Reach back for the ankle. I call it dancing monkeys. And then gently release, step back to high plank there. And then hinge forward, look forward, chaturanga pause. All the way to the belly. Forehead down, grab your ankles, and <clears throat> of course lift your head to do that. And then come back to your forehead. If you can't get your ankles, just do maybe a bound locus. Once you have your ankles, pubic bone down, thighs down, lift your shoulder heads up. Try to lift your low belly away from the mat. And then lift your chest first as you push your shins back. Connect to the inner border of your shoulder blades squeezing together. And then lift your thighs up. Then rock back to your belly. Four to the lowest rib. Maybe even to the thighs. Take an inhale. And exhale, release. You bring your hands together in prayer and bring your third eye to your thumbs and just let your heels spin in. Or your heels draw out, your toes spin in. Maybe rock your pelvis side to side. And then push back to child's pose. So two more last postures before Shavasana. Camel. So hips over knees, feet hip width apart. Curl the toes under if you need a little more support. Or tops the feet down. Cowbone down. Hands to low back, thumbs in, fingers up, shoulder blades together, sides of the heart up. Or just turn the palms out. Lean back, heels. Keep hugging in as fingertips find the inside of the heels. Squeeze your upper arms together. Lift your heart up and maybe draw a line back with the gaze. If you feel supported, hands to heart. Soften the throat. Maybe close your eyes. You might lean back. When you're ready, inhale, sit up. Exhale, Virasana. Sit between your heels. And just notice the beating of the heart. And I'm going to offer you stay here, Virasana. If you want to do another camel, maybe drop back to bridge or wheel, or a good time for an inversion. So, Shirsasana, crown a head down, cross your hands behind your back or behind your head. Make sure your elbows aren't splaying out. And then lift your shoulder heads up as you push your forearms down. And then you can walk your feet in and go up. 
So the neck is long. You rarely lie on the head, if at all. You, could, you should be able to lift your head here quite, quite effortlessly. And then come back to your belly, really cinching back and reach your feet up. This is all that venous blood. If you're in the inversion, kind of switch. Really good for your metabolism. Your circulation. And feel more, more grounded, more. More present. And then if you're in your inversion, slowly make your way out. And then go ahead and come to your back for Shavasana. Stay nice and comfortable there. Take your time before you come out. Noticing the effects of your, your practice. In this time, of turmoil, I find that the most simplest things make the biggest difference. Maybe allowing your practice to lend a little more of a shift of perspective as you re-enter your day. And with just a very simple quote that I read this morning, and it read, I woke up, I have clothes to wear, I am running water, I have food to eat, life is good. I am thankful. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. How do you feel? Very good, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so glad you joined. That was great. Thank you. I'm just gonna turn the recording off, but we can stay on. Um, do you wanna stop recording?